what will happen next? I mean, in, especially in terms of, uh, because I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're aware that most of the young people uh, like uh, Greta Thunberg from the Swedish activists are very much aware of uh, the uh, climate change and the environmental issue. And uh, most of the students and, and most of the people, the young people are like, okay, what will happen in our future? What is happening? So what would you uh, answer to them? I would say the future is actually in their hands. The young engineers that come out, the young stu students that come out, they have to, to improve the ecosystem. We've seen the destruction of the ecosystem. So they have to be innovative in improving what I call ecosystems moving from gray to green. That's what they have to do. They're very eager to do that. But the our future, what we look, because right now we have five generations in the workforce today. As they graduate and they become the leaders and we all move into the next evolution of our, our as we graduate, they become the new leaders. As they become the leaders, it's incumbent upon them to be innovative, to think about what we are going to do to restore our ecosystems, because that's what we need. And I can say that repeatedly because if we seek, they have to be the ones that are so innovative to think about what will we do to actually think about how do we stop using all of our energy? How do we stop? How do we start thinking about more renewable energy? How do we stop extracting water from the ground and putting more into the surface? So there's things like that that we have to think about. Here's one that I love to talk about all the time. When I think about construction, we think about our materials, right? We think about what's happening right now. The, what's the very first thing that comes to their mind? They think concrete is what we use to build buildings, right? That's the very first thing you think of. But if you really think about that, what is it? Concrete materials over are the choice for buildings, it's horrible. It, it uses the most carbon footprint of all. But why do we use that? Because we haven't really thought about What's the next material we should be using? That's what the next generation has to be thinking about. What is the next material to create our buildings? We think about what happened right now with COVID. COVID has changed everything. It's, it's got us all to think about touchless. It's got us all to think about where do we have to do and innovate faster, more digital transformation. We've used the digital twin. We've used... Uh, IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning. But now what's that next great evolution? Exascale, what are we going to do? That's what the next generation is going to have to think about. Do you think that IoT, Internet of, Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence, machine learning will be like uh, old stuff when we arrive uh, like from 15 years from now or they're going to be something different something more advanced iot2 iot3 like the next next generation or com something completely different well think about what's happened over the years when we think about manufacturing we think about construction there's always that next evolution so now is iot going to be as the analysts are calling it now the intelligence of everything Everything will evolve and there will be something new to replace it. You know, we'll be talking about quantum computing. We'll be talking about the next big thing. There will always, but that's what's the power. Our next generation of brilliant students that graduate, it will be upon them to think about cleaner, greener. You know, it's the new gold rush, right? And that's what we want them to think of. What will that be? You and I right now do not know, but that's the power of innovation because when they put their minds to it, they're going to come up with something we haven't thought of right now. Nobody thought the iPhone was going to change the way we do things with all those applications. Nobody thought one little device that you and I have in our phone and our hands like this was going to change our lives today. And it has. There's an app for that and there's an app for everything, but nobody thought connected devices in this it's going to monitor our hearts. It's going to change the way we communicate with our doctors. Everything connected, everything and IP on everything. That's exactly we don't know what the next generation is going to do, but we hope it's going to be more sustainable. It's not going to extract so much from our environment. But that's the thing. The difference that I would say 
and this would be the one thing I want the next generation to think about, design it from the beginning. It's got to be designed so it's more circular. We, we always want the latest and greatest, and it just compounds our landfills. The next generation has to be thinking about not so much waste, but how it's much more circular. So we're not just keep extracting from our economy, but we're rebuilding it. When we're destroying our forests, we're thinking about we in the United States and, and you're coming from the UK. We think about taking, you know, it's a take, make waste economy. What we do next in the next 15 years, we can't think about it like that. We have to think about how do we design it first? And that's what they have to think. So that technology has to be thought about first. We haven't done that. We've designed it first. We throw it away because we want the latest phone. We want the latest and greatest. But we have to think about how do we put it back into society? And that's what the next. So what that technology will be, I'm not sure. But I do know if our next generation students that graduate think about it, we will be saving our our, our environment and, and making it greener for the generations that come three and four and five generations to come. We will not be wiping out societies like we've done in the past. Would you like to give them some like more like an advice on how, what are we gonna do? We have a huge burden, we, I mean, meaning like uh, coming from this generation, there is a huge burden how can I start? I mean, I don't know. Shall I go? Shall I go first? Um, uh, going towards uh, thinking about sustainability, about then the environment. Uh, shall I go towards in the technology and thinking about okay, how can I uh, upgrade my technology? Where should I focus um, on first? A student would be the same advice I give a company. You have to start small and think about what's the problem you're start solving. So when we say sustainable design or we say technology, what's the problem you're solving first? And then think about it being a journey. It's never an end. We always say technology is never an end. So solving a problem is never an end. You just haven't solved it because the problems are always there. So if we design something from the beginning that can keep evolving, we're constantly addressing problems that come on because there's always new problems, but there's always new solutions. So if you think about the end in mind, you're always moving forward. You're always continuing to design, but you're thinking about the technology. You can't do anything without technology. You can't design without that, but you always have to keep thinking, what's the end? Where am I going with this? So you think, and you've got to be thinking about the technology. You have to be thinking about the solution that you have in mind, because then you can upgrade it. Then you can think about where the future's headed. You can't do it alone. Everybody thinks that they've got the sauce, you know? Nobody, one company does. No one individual does. So you have to consult others. There's others who have tried to cross that chasm, and they've stumbled. So that's why we have to kind of consult others and share. There's others who have experience and knowledge. Don't be afraid to ask. We've all made mistakes. Mistakes are good. And that's how we learn from them. The biggest thing we all fail to do is learn from our history. History is so important to take that. So that would be something. Ask, be, you know, be encouraged to fail. Failure is good. Learning from that, that's that those are the, the tips I would give. 